Is this the best birthday present It ever? is, I'm so happy. <laughs> I was getting little bubbles, I see the bubbles. Is karate, uh, karate part of it? This is crazy. Oh, oh! Welcome back to my channel. A couple days ago, Amazon suggested this to me and I'm really excited about it. I've never done anything like this before, but basically we're gonna make a statue with my hand and Angada's hand. This is something that, that I really thought would be cool to be able to have forever. And then I remembered it's Skylar's birthday. So I bought her one. As you know, she cares for him. She's with me at least 12 hours a day <laughs> and him just helping me get through the day, taking care of this cute little angel who's asleep right now. As you can see, there's a couple different wraps that I use. This one gets him up a lot higher, keeps him close to my heart, um, but he's either with me or Skylar 24 seven. He just never leaves our side. I don't know if either one of the wraps are my favorite. One kind of goes over your shoulder and he kind of swings down. This one goes over both shoulders. So I kind of like that because I think it's easier on my back. He, he only weighs 13 pounds but keeping him right here he's happy he's content he's warm he's safe so we always have him in one of these wraps if he's getting tired or sleepy and then of course when he's awake he gets to run around and do whatever he wants exercise and play so i already opened this up and started looking at the instructions and one of the instructions was to make sure that your baby's not cranky so we are going to wait until he's done with his nap before we make all of this stuff because we don't want him cranky. We want this to be a fun experience for us and him. Oh, it looks like he's waking up right now. I have a small or maybe a large problem with instructions. Everything I put together, generally I put together without looking at instructions because I think it's harder to read the instructions than to just do it myself. So I don't want to ruin this. I'm going to let Skylar do it. <laughs> do you know what these are for? Um, actually, what? there it is. <laughs> we just had a huge discussion about what this is. Comment below if you know what this is. Hint, it's not a bobby pin. Um, I thought I said bobby pin. <laughs> it's not. And she said a clothes pin. Um, do you want me to tell you what it is? It would it be is used. It is a safety pin. It would be used for clothing before it would be used for hair. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we know what it is now. It's a safety pin. I don't know why we need it, but we have it. Only ever used it to keep my pants closed. <laughs> all I know. All right, so we just took everything out of the bucket. Um, the first step is to put the water and the molding powder in this, mix it together. Once we take our hands out, we're gonna fill that with another substance that is actually going to harden inside of the cast. And then once all that's hard, we're going to remove the outer layer and it's going to be mine and Angada's hands. First thing, we're gonna add the water. We need 12 cups. Um, so while Skylar's mixing all that stuff, I wanted to show you, this is one of the wraps. Basically, it's just a big long piece of material. So there's two different kinds. One has two rings on it, and the, the material goes through those rings and then you can tighten it. Or there's this kind, and this one you can kind of make it whichever way works the best for you. But you start it here across your belly, and then you have to cross it across your back. It comes up over your shoulders. And then you can make it as tight or as, as loose as you want. This is really stretchy, so it's okay to make it kind of tight. And then you fold all of this up. It goes inside. Then you're going to take this and wrap it a couple more times around your back. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then you got this. And voila! There's a baby! And you put it inside! You, put, you want to put it in the one closest to your body first, which is this one. That was right on cue. That wasn't even on purpose. <laughs> and then he's in there. Nice and snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. And then this last little piece comes up over. And he's all the way in there. He's close to my body. He can, he can go to sleep or he can just play with my necklace or whatever he wants to do. But we're close. <laughs> You good boy? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to decide which hand is going to be the most comfortable for both of us. Right now it feels like this hand. Um, the other thing is, is I don't want my rings in there, I don't think. Look at that, there's actually an indent from where the ring has been for 20 years. So I'm going so to take those off for now because I think it'll make a cuter handprint if I don't have it on there. Then we'll see what happens next. Don't lose my rings, okay? Don't lose them. 
So this is the rubbery substance that we're going to actually be putting our hands into. Um, it said to mix it for approximately 90 seconds. I don't know how to count, so I didn't. <laughs> but... <laughs> One thing we did not mention, which is very important, is that this is non-toxic. Yes. This is, it even says right there, parent and child. So it is safe for children. Right there, non-toxic, non-allergic, and quick, quick setting. So we're all good. We're trying to make sure everyone stays healthy and happy here no matter what. Mwah. The pink color is a little bit terrifying, but they said that the pink color will change. I don't know why it's pink. <laughs> Actually, I like pink. Are you excited about this? Says, look at my pretty hand. We're gonna we're gonna have it forever. That really cool hand. <coughs> what is Skyler doing? You gotta wait. You gotta wait. We're not ready for that yet. Okay, jump in. <laughs> <laughs> it's this changing color. So that means we're close. I think we need to wet our hand again. Yeah. So where's your hand? There you go. Just get it a little wet, okay? Okay. How do you wanna hold on? You wanna hold on like that? You ready? And it says don't touch the bottom or the outsides of the bucket. Can you time for two How minutes? How much am I moving around? Like so that it's in all of the crevices, so that it looks like a hand and not just like a... So it really doesn't stick. It's got a little bit here in this fur, but see how easy that comes out? Yeah, it's very cool, very easy. Now that the hands were in there, it says to pull out all the little pieces. Oh, there's a bunch um, of little pieces in yeah, there. Yeah, because it says that we're, we're going to add more, we, we fill it basically. So if any of the pieces are too small, they're just going to break off and it's not going to There's gonna, a bunch of little work, teeny pieces so. in there. I could fill it when I pulled my hand out. Yeah. Their hands are out. <laughs> we cleaned all this up. There's no little bits or anything. Um, we are going to add the next step, which is the actual stone part of it. So we're going to add this into the water mix it up. We're going to pour it into this where their hands went. And that is actually what is going to be what we are keeping. Um, this is, it's gonna be kind of like stone or like concrete. Is this the best birthday present It ever? is, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what it looks like. That's gonna be your hands. So when you pour it in, it says to move it around so that it gets in all of the crevices and to make sure there's no air in it since it's going to harden. <laughs> so that, maybe that's enough right there. Yeah, that's probably it. And that way too, it'll kind of, it'll keep filling it so there's no way for it to... Yeah. Do you need to yeah. knock the bubbles out again or is that just Yeah, they'll come out stuff? as you bump it. So it says it has to sit for two hours before it's hard enough. Two hours? <laughs> what? That's a long time. You know. What is it about cheese and wine and things? Better with age. Ah, okay. So yeah. you want to do yours while we're waiting for mine to sure. harden? Sure. <laughs> okay, so we just finished making the mold with Skylar, and I think it is time for a bottle. We'll see if he's hungry or not. I offer it to him about every four hours. Sometimes he drinks the whole bottle. Sometimes he just drinks a couple ounces. I fill it to eight ounces. He's never drank more than eight ounces, so always make sure there's some left over so that he can grow up big and strong, get all the vitamins and nutrients he needs. And then of course, I'm still trying to supplement him with food in between, although he's still not super into food. And then we gotta shake it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh yeah, there you go. You gonna drink it? He's a good boy, huh? Yeah, there's getting little bubbles. I see the bubbles. Usually halfway through the bottle, he takes a little bit of a break and I see if he wants to burp. You have to burp him just like a little baby. Oh, did I get a burp? Or are you just making funny noises? You want some more? You want some more? Is that all you're gonna drink right now? That's okay. Whatever you want. You're in charge. <laughs> that might be all he wants. So I finished mine. I'm gonna go set it next to Moksha's. Um, we have to let it sit for two hours before we can start taking it apart. So we're gonna let it sit for two hours and then 
we'll peel it apart and show you the end result. Two hours later. So, this has been sitting for almost three hours, and now we're gonna try to get it out and see what it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> Karate, uh, karate part of it. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, yeah. Is this cement? Huh. Okay. So now we just pull it apart. Yep. This is crazy. See a little hand emerging. Oh, wow. That is cooler than I could have imagined. Seriously. Look at that. That is crazy. That's wow. So that is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Do you love it? Yes. It's beautiful. Happy birthday, Skybar. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So these turned out so much better than I could have ever hoped for. This is so exciting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like it, comment, and of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe below. Let's see what our next adventure is.